Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to walk you through a new feature on Google Scholar. I'm sure you've heard of Google Scholar, but if you haven't, here it is. You just uh, add it in your search engine, whatever you're using, and it'll look like this. Now notice here my profile. You can get your profile in there, my library and labs. We're going to go into where it says new. Notice I'm interested in articles, but you may be interested in case law as well. So you can tick that off. I wrote a topic, not a question, topic. I might be more specific and add uh, fine papers uh, in the past uh, two years, or I can just leave it as is going to leave it as is so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. And that was really, really fast. And notice here we're getting 2023 at the top. It's still evaluated nine top results. Notice it's still working. But while it's working, we can start looking at what's here and see if it's relevant or not. Now notice it's uh, focusing on artificial intelligence as teaching and research assistance, which is uh, okay. Virtual RAS. Okay, it seems to um, be okay. Next, we are going to try to fix the date, all right, since um, we're not really interested in everything. So current, and I don't know there aren't that many, so I'm looking for something that doesn't really exist, which is fine because I may want to research it, or you may. So current articles. 2025 and on agents. Okay, let me check that out and see if there's anything on that because I'm interested in focusing on various tools that are out there like SciSpace. And that was super fast. Notice there's one specifically on SciSpace, AI driven tool for academic literature. Now, this is going more specific and we can continue. This is a great start. Let's check this out. Notice you can also cite it in various ways. This is something that Google Scholar does that I really, really like. All right, so let's take a look at it and see if we can actually notice it's under ProQuest, but it's under the Journal of Education. So this could be a doctoral study. Let's take a look at it and see where it came from. Notice the PDF is not available, but we need to go into Explore ProQuest. Okay, so I went into ProQuest quest with my university, University of Phoenix. And um, and here is the PDF. No wonder it wasn't listed because it's not in English. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it and translate it. Yes, I'm on Gemini. Everything Google is good for me. And uh, notice uh, this is the translation. Really happy about this. Okay, so I can read that. Perfect. And in seconds. Now, what I can do, of course, is I can save it. There's a little bit about size page space, which uh, interested me. That's what I can do here. I can copy it or I can go into more. What I'm interested in is the sources because uh, notice here, the sources are not in English, most of them, but there is, notice, um, some in English. There is one. Now, I notice my options here. I can listen to it, draft it in Gmail, all right? And these are very, very helpful. Going to export it to Docs. And then I'll open Docs. And here it is in Docs as a Google Doc, which, of course, I can go on and download it as a PDF. So I have it in English. And if you want to know what it looks like, we're looking now at it. And notice uh, it's from the University of Taipei. And that's how it's done if it's in a foreign language. So let's go back to Google Scholar. I'm going to ask for applications for summary of the article and findings. And let's see what I get. And this is what I get. But hopefully this will change and I'll be able to ask questions related to the actual article. And it'll be able to read it the way Google Gemini does. So let's go back to Google Gemini just to confirm this for you so that you can use both Google Scholar and Google Gemini. So under Google Gemini, we are going to ask for summarize findings. You can keep asking questions 
and notice the date here. And these are things that you have to be aware of. Tools change. They're updated all the time. So these studies are actually always outdated and you should be aware of when the study was conducted and the changes made, especially on SciSpace. So thank you for watching. Try SciSpace, by the way. It's great.